Friday. I am Philosophical coming live from Rootwire Music and Arts Festival. And this place is turning the ideal into the real deal. And it is so incredibly amazing. I'm going to walk around here and just show you some of the beauty. So here we got some live painting happening. This fella's doing some beautiful acrobatics. Happy Friday! So that galaxy is morphing into caterpillars. Something along those lines. Uh, yeah. Tell me. Right on. What's your name, brother? My name's Kevin. Kevin. Or philosophical. Or philosophical. 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 Documenting the beauty here. Yeah. Keep right it flowing. Thank you. And this dome here is a massive dome with people laying inside of it, and they are all laying in a circle, listening to electronic music while crazy. Beautiful patterns are being projected in 360 degrees all around the dome. It's really cool. And uh, here we've got some more beautiful live painting amidst the uh, little pond here. kinds of interactive interactive activities this is some kind of activation chamber and uh, we got beautiful people walking around with no shirts on some males some females and uh, there's all kinds of workshops transformational workshops happening here there's people of all ages from young children to elders who are passing down their wisdom and uh, it's just a really incredible experience and there's just so much positive energy here it, it feels like a completely different universe or something um, and there's a really strong theme of, of sustainability and using resources uh, in, a, in a balanced way this is bamboo which I've heard can be known to grow a foot in a matter of days so it's a highly renewable resource and there's a lot of things made from bamboo there's um there's even a, a system by the food section where you can get a bamboo plate with a bamboo fork and then you get a token so you, re you return the bamboo plate and then they wash it for you and it's just this continuous cycle of 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 not wasting resources and just reusing things um, and here we've just got people playing on a slack line which is really fun and um walking the balance beam and there's just so much collaboration here it's it's incredible i'm gonna walk down over to the path of all the uh the temples there's this place called the soul purpose nest which i'll get to in a little bit that is constructed all out of natural materials that were found here on site and i'm at, we're in ohio right now um, so it's just this huge sacred altar of all kinds of different barks and sticks and leaves and things. And, uh, and then there's also all sorts of neon glow-in-the-dark beauty. At night there's all kinds of projected lights coming onto these things. And um, this morning was the opening ceremony which everyone gathered in this huge field and um, there was probably five or six hundred people all gathered together and this this elder woman um, just spoke about how profound it is to see from her generation now to a few generations later seeing how many young people are, are waking up and striving to make a more beautiful world and and then series of people all together called in the different the seven directions that a lot of native tribes tribes honor um, which is the four cardinal directions 
and then Father Sky, Mother Earth, and then the seventh direction, which is your heart where all the directions meet. Um, and so it's just really profound to be in a circle with everyone. And um, this uh, indigenous teacher, Mazatsin, was blowing the conch shell after each direction, which is um, another sacred tradition to bring in the energy from that. And this is a beautiful uh, crochet web that a friend Joy made. Pretty beautiful, eh? Yes, yes. Um, and yeah, there's all kinds of artisans sharing their crafts and gifts, like these djembe drums, hula hoops, didgeridoos. Apparently, soon there's going to be a... Welcome to Ceremonial Center. Oh, we are being welcomed to the Ceremonial Center. Uh, <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> This is, this is a real life slash non real life tour because it doesn't really feel like we're in real life anymore. Do you have anything to say to the, the it's rest? Real. It is real. Exactly. She said it's real if you want it to be. And as I said before, we're turning the ideal into the real deal. Look, it's, someone gave me their bird's feather. Wow. And it's red on one side and blue on one side. Wow, so what would that represent to you? Well, the, it's red and blue, but the name of the bird is green. Whoa. Isn't that cool? That sounds like some sort of play on words or <laughs> trick for the mind. This is kind of like a sharing, sharing tree of some sort. Oh, the giving tree, there you go. You can just give and receive cool stuff. I might need a lightsaber. All right, and now we are approaching the, I believe this is the tribal council, or this is actually the spirit house dome, which has free body and energy work. Um, and so you can come here anytime and receive a massage or a Reiki session, which is a really beautiful thing. I'm going to stop talking so that I don't disrupt them. And this is the tribal council tent, which looks like a flower of life. And I believe tribal council brings people together to to sit in council and to discuss real issues of how the collective is moving forward and what sort of things, um, what are the group intentions, so to speak. And uh, here the uh, the elder Mazatsin is giving a talk in the in the nest. So I'll just. I'll just walk over to it. First, this is uh, this is the artist Chris Dyer who was painting live painting before. This is, I believe, his specific dome, just called Fabric of the Universe. Time is art. So thank you for watching this video. I'm going to close out by going over to the nest. Please uh, check out the links, check out Rootwire, and check out transformational festivals in your area. And just remember that you can also turn the ideal into the real deal. It's just a matter of making it a reality, as Mazatsin said. So here is the sole purpose nest. The date of the calendar, how to walk on this calendar system, okay? Like I said, my ancient teacher, Don Felipe, he says, Masati, it's a good way to manage the town. That's all I wanted to hear. Not the only way, not the best way, but a good way to manage the town. And we've been managing this town for the past 23 years. I actually began walking on this calendar system pretty much when my son was born in 1989. As in 1989, we've been walking with this calendar, trying to find the reason behind the symbols, trying to find the mission behind the symbols. 
every single day in Mexico City, every single day, the, count, uh, excuse me, the Museum of Anthropology and History, where the original stone is at, it is open every day of the year. Every day of the year. They only closed it for a little bit of time when they brought that swine flu over there. And they had to close it down for a little bit. But that's about it. It's been open every single day of the year. And every day, they say, they point to the big stone. And they say, look at the sun god right there with his tongue sticking out. 